My beloved sisters and brothers in Christ, in just a few short weeks, we will gather from the north and the south, the east and the west, from all over the Susquehanna Conference, a Pennsylvania Conference of the United Methodist Church, will gather to enter into four days of holy conferencing. Our theme again this year, The River Flows, reminds us of the power of the image of our conference name, the power of the river to nourish and transform, just as God's presence in our lives nourishes and nurtures and transforms. John Wesley described holy conferencing, Christian conferencing, as one of the means of grace, one of the ways that we join our hearts with the heart of God, drawing closer in the profound gift of the presence of Christ within us. I believe deep in my heart that this time can truly be the occasion for the Spirit of God to be profoundly present in our midst. If we open our hearts to this possibility, the inbreaking of the Spirit of God can become a reality. We'll hear three inspirational and challenging presentations from Adam Hamilton, founding pastor of the Church of the Resurrection in Kansas City. We'll worship together. We'll pray together. We'll make decisions regarding our life together as we live into our new Susquehanna Conference. We'll elect lay and clergy delegates to the 2012 General Conference. We'll consider resolutions that have an impact on our world. And we will rejoice in one another's presence as we meet and enter into fellowship with our sisters and brothers from throughout Pennsylvania, stretching to the borders of Maryland and Virginia to New York and New Jersey. Annual Conference is a time for connections, connecting with God, connecting with beloved friends and new sisters and brothers in Christ, a time of inspiration, a time to remember whose we are and who we are, a time to honor those who have given their lives in serving Christ, and a time to celebrate the ordinations, commissioning, and recognition of those new to full-time service a time to be re-energized for doing God's work where we are called, a time to recommit ourselves to that call. We'll receive offerings for Mission Central for the Cup of Water Fund, which provides assistance to laity to ha who have particular needs, and for Imagine No Malaria, the plan to eliminate malaria from the continent of Africa. I'm amazed each year by the generosity to these conference offerings. I invite you to continue to be in prayer for our new conference as we anticipate gathering for holy conferencing, seeking ways to do everything in our power to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. I look so forward to seeing you there.